What is up, Nation, and welcome back to WWE 2K24 My GM. We're going to be continuing our ECW My GM today. I believe we are on to the Hell in a Cell pay per view, so let's just get into it. And as you can see, before we even enter the mode, we are currently in third place. But we are Paul Heyman, we are the mastermind of this business. We're going to get to the top. All right, so it is Hell in a Cell week. So coming into this, we cannot book our most popular fighter this week if we want to meet our commissioner goal and we also promised baron corbin a uh rematch with dexter loomis within the next two weeks also promised randy orton two weeks of rest and uh con contract expiring wesley so a couple of things to keep our eye on as we book the ecw hell in the cell pay-per-view now orton uh not being available because of his rest is a bit of a detriment because he is our most popular star at and, and also i should say and also the ecw television champion however we can't book our most popular fighter this week in order to meet our commissioner goal. So it kind of, you know, one helps the other. Randy Orton's not going to get booked either way. So we will meet our commissioner goal this week. And just in case this is your first time watching the MyGM and you didn't watch the draft in the first five weeks, here is our roster currently. We have Kevin Owens as your world champion. Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker, your current ECW tag team champions. We have Cedric Alexander. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Wesley Dijak, who is a former ECW World Champion here on this MyGM, Dexter Loomis, Bronson Reed, Ilya Dragunov, as well as Nathan Frazier. Bit of a, a, a vast cast of characters, honestly. I, I wanted to get some different talent. I wanted to bring some new guys to the top, and that's exactly what we're doing on ecw but of course we will go and look at the talent scouts this week see if there's anybody worth bringing to the ecw brand now we got a guy like apollo cruz i like apollo cruz always had a soft spot for apollo cruz fun fact i owned his first nxt t-shirt just cut the sleeves off it recently it's a new gym shirt not that you guys asked but i like apollo cruz so maybe we'll bring apollo cruz to ecw eventually let's see who else is available we'll go to renowned stars and we will search that up um, we have Montez Ford. We have Santos Escobar. Um, we do have, uh, obviously, women on here. Tegan Knox, Tamina showing up. Um, well, we don't do the local uh, competitors on this my GM. I'm just not a fan of using those guys. It just takes me out of it. But as for the women, if you guys watched the first episode of the my GM, we don't have any women on the roster because ECW doesn't have a women's title. So, of course, we could still book them. But championship matches are a plus for the brand. So, them just having those one-off matches every week, when there's not a championship on the line, nah, it's not really that appealing. All right, maybe we will come back to this. I'm liking Montez Ford. I'm liking Apollo Crews. I'm liking Santos Escobar. We will come back to this and we will uh, get into booking Hell in the Cell. I remember I did use a couple of power cards that uh, I don't think kick in until the next week. Somebody said in my comment section of the last video uh, and just made me feel like a complete idiot. But we did use those. I forget which ones in the last video. So go check those out. But we do have some power cards in play or about to be in play. But let's try to book Hell in the Cell, man, to the best of our abilities. So Kevin Owens and Die Jack will main event for the world championship and it will be and uh do we have hell in the cell available special effects tier three all right hold on hold on special effects basic effects oh wait do i have to buy the hell in the cell arena okay i don't know what special effects tier three means so i guess i can't do a hell in the cell match at hell in the cell i don't know whatever we're just gonna do an extreme rules match i'm sure it'll be great either way owens and die jack been feuding ever since the beginning of this thing so i'm sure it'll be a good conclusion at the ple for the championship all right let's have our tag team titles on the line in a tables matchup braun breaker and baron corbin taking on dexter loomis and Ilya Dragunov. corbin gonna get his match with dexter loomis in the midst of this tag team title matchup we may need to sign somebody to our roster to help fill out this show uh just because you know things are a little uh you know lacking with randy orton not going to be available we will do a submission match well no nah, no nah. do either of these guys have a uh, specialty nathan frazier's last man standing wesley no holds barred i don't have either of those matches available son of a gun I don't know what's up with that. All right, so we will go. Uh, we'll go Falls Count anywhere. We'll go Falls Count anywhere. Wesley and Nathan Frazier, and then before we go on and book anything else, let's go back to the talent scouts. We have two more talent scouts we can use. So let's uh, let's see. Let's let's check out everybody who's in here at the moment. AJ Styles, Montez Ford, Sami Zayn, 
bunch of other people in here isla dawn just opened up um i mean aj styles man that'd be a, that'd be a big one to bring in you know he a specialty tables match up we can do tables matches at the moment i know we're bringing him in a little ice cold doesn't really have a feud but i mean randy orton's out we need we need some heavy hitters a hundred thousand is pretty steep um for a, a budget of six hundred thousand at the moment uh, we can sign him for less, though. We can sign him for, you know, three, four weeks. Nonetheless, three weeks, 73000 I'm not really good with money on these games, so I don't know if I'm getting a deal or not. But either way, we're just going to we're gonna do four weeks for AJ Styles. I feel like we need some heavy hitters coming in on the pay-per-view. So we got AJ Styles. He's going to open up our show. Well, let's put a, AJ Styles as a baby face. So let's go against... We'll go against Dirty Dom. Wait, I... Oh, uh, Dom's busy for two weeks. What the hell? I don't know. what I didn't even realize that the whole time. Nonetheless, okay. What the f Damn it. All right, so I thought we were going to have an even amount, but, man, we might need to sign somebody else now. God. <laughs> All right. AJ and Bronson Reed, who have no prior history. And then we're just down to these three, which we can't book Orton. Dirty Dom is busy for two weeks. And we have Cedric. So, in order to fill out this show, we may need to sign somebody else. Like, of course, I could leave it open, but I don't want to leave it open. So... We are going to sign Santos Escobar for uh, literally two weeks. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that's the best decision, but we're going to do it. His uh, specialty evidently is a tables matchup. So we're going to go table Santos versus Cedric. Uh, they're both baby faces, but oh well. And we'll go ahead and sign it. So, I mean, on paper, it looks like a great show. I'm sure something, these three matches, one of them, if not all of them, are probably going to be like mediocre or something for some dumb reason or another. But I'm confident in these championship matches, especially the main event. I think it, it, this could be a five-star classic between Kevin Owens and Dijak. Can somebody help me out here in the comments? Why does this say 50000 but it says you need more cash or assets to purchase this logistic, yet my budget is is uh 500,000 at the moment make it make sense what am i missing <laughs> nonetheless we're doing we're doing the best we can out here so I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident in our hell in the cell show so we will go ahead and uh we will confirm this booking ecw hell in a cell and, and we might as well play a match on this show so it'll not be aj styles and bronson reed we'll go ahead and simulate this and it will be a victory for the debuting phenomenal aj styles two-star mediocre matchup could have expected about that reed has been feuding with orton so we didn't get to have that blow off on the pay-per-view we're just gonna have to have it when orton comes back santos escobar making his debut against cedric alexander it is a tables matchup and it goes to cedric alexander two-star mediocre match as well but they just started a rivalry so maybe we can get something out of that over a santos short contract we have a false can anywhere match between wesley and nathan frazier they have a little bit of a feud going on at the moment and is a one and a half star disappointing match my goodness my good you know that those are unrealistic ratings right there those three matches that i just had lined up made it that anywhere in the world is all i'm saying nonetheless tag team title on the line in a tables match corbin and breaker versus dexter and Ilya Dragunov. it is the wolf dogs corbin and breaker retaining the title in a three-star good matchup who's going to be able to take down breaker and corbin and now we have our main event kevin owens and die jack for the ecw championship extreme rules i feel like we should just go ahead and play this matchup so who will we play as we'll play as kevin owens all right let's get into this all right here we go we need a five-star classic main event for the ecw world championship tonight i need a banger main event to bring the ice to the ecw brand and that's what we're counting on die jack and kevin owens for all right die jack has entered let's get a look at what kevin owens is rocking with uh how he, how he looks with the ecw world championship oh man oh man all right here we go world titles on the line hell in a cell main event and unfortunately it could not be a hell in a cell match for one reason or another but it is extreme rules so freaking let the bodies hit the floor all right here we go i'm gonna charge die jack i really don't care if i win or lose this matchup i just need it to be freaking great i wonder if having a new champion in a match helps the ratings i know this mode's been out for like three years but i don't know the backbone of it i don't you know so somebody can let me know in the comments if there's a new champion does that boost the uh the ratings of a match kevin owens do the fucking dive never die jack's clearing off the announce table this is not going to be good 
uh, for him. Wait, can I climb on the announce table this year? I can. Get up, get up, get up. Whee! Do a dive or something. Oh, I can't do a dive or anything? Oh, I can. Boom! All right, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing here? What am I doing? We got a... Options. Options. Presentation. Hold on, guys. I know what we're missing here. Where's the fucking, uh... Okay, never mind. I was gonna put the ramp cam on, but I guess it's not available in my GM. Okay. Nonetheless, back to the fight. All right. Oh, die, Jack. Uh, gonna do some... Oh, he's gonna go, he's gonna, gonna go to the extreme. He's getting, always oh, getting a trash can out. Some of the new weapons in this year's game. I have yet to really uh, mess with those. All right, here we freaking go. Now we're talking. Oh, man. Well, I gotta throw this, I gotta throw this trash can at him. Boom! Oh! <laughs> it hit like a freaking, oh my God. It hit like a rock, dude, right in his head. All right, one more time, one more time, one more time. This is bringing the star ratings, folks. Boom! Oh my god. Fantastic. What else is under the ring? Now I got it. Now I got to look. All right, all your all your basics here. You know what? Let's get a little table. Everybody loves a good table action. I love a good table action. Right, let's let's put this table in the ring. Let's put the table in the ring. Yeah, here, die Jack. All right, now we now we got the table set up. Now we're cooking with a I wonder if one of these guys has the ability to uh light this thing on fire. Oh my god. Now we got the dive. Dude, Kevin Owens is cooking this guy right now. I gotta throw the chair at him. Oh! <laughs> Such a good, basic, but great feature that was added this year. The ability to throw weapons. Oh my god. Now if I could only turn the ramp cam on in my GM. I don't know why it's not an option. Man, did I miss it? Or, I don't know. You know what this match needs? You know what this match needs? This match needs a little ladder action. A little ladder action. We can't do Hell in a Cell, but we can still institute some steel. Put the ladder in the ring. There we go. Where are you going, Die Jack? You don't wanna you don't wanna come to Kevin Owens playground? Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh, exploder on the ladder! Let's freaking go. Oh no, Die Jack picking me up. Oh no! Belly to belly on the ladder, dude. Moves on top of the ladder. Always just looks so cool. Kevin Owens gonna no sell it! Because this is ECW and anything freaking goes. It is a absolute fight here and where are we at oklahoma city i think oh man set up the ladder climb to the top the title's not up there but we could do a high spot oh no die jack now oh man imagine if the table was set up that would have been sick oh no die jack's gonna kill me die jack he's gonna kill me feast your eyes kevin owens is done can he kick out oh yeah easy kick out okay yes i do prefer the button smashing method of uh pinfalls as you see, if you watch my uh, Universe Mode videos. All right, Kevin Owens is taking some damage right now. Jack is doing a number on the ECW champion. Can he make a comeback? Oh, went back and forth. Dude's got a freaking sledgehammer. Because that's exactly what we need right now. I want to put you through this table, Jack. I want to do a nice high spot and put you through this table. There we go. All right, climb to the top. Climb to the top. Kevin Owens off the top. Big time splash. Putting Dijak through the table. Now that is extreme. Owens looking for the finish. Owens looking for the finish. Kick to the gut. Stutter to retain the title. Will it happen? That's a one. That's a two. And he retains the ECW championship here at hell in a cell. You know, I will say, I wish one thing that uh, my GM had, maybe this is something they could add next year, is that depending on which brand you are, you have uh, different pay-per-views, just like back in the day. Like if you're a SmackDown, you had the SmackDown pay-per-views, you had Raw, you had the Raw pay-per-views. Even in 2008, if you were ECW, you had like some one-off ECW pay-per-views or you had One Night Stand in December to December. That was a really cool feature. Maybe something they can add next year and throw in a couple old school ECW pay-per-views, One Night Stand included, and give us those arenas. That would be sick. Nonetheless, we have a three star good matchup i mean i guess we didn't go too crazy but it was good enough for uh you know the ending of the show at least the main event ended high here is what nxt is bringing to the table at hell in the cell rollins and r-truth versus rude and logan paul at the top of their show uh we have brutus creed and a local competitor in the middle of their show okay and eos guy and natalia 
main eventing in a just a normal matchup so we are not going to stick around for that let's see what smackdown is bringing to oklahoma city they got julius creed and finn balor for the wwe universal championship tables matchup and that feud man smackdown uh who we got run smackdown is a theodore long uh braun Strowman, humberto just having the feud of a lifetime over that intercontinental championship but let's see how we fared not that <laughs> not that hot not that hot we did get good booking we did get good booking you know not really a, a negative your opener main event were the highlights of your ple as they should be focus on raising the quality of your matches for higher show ratings listen we did the best we could you know we brought in a lot of new talent just alone styles and santos you know there's no heat there these are cold matches what can you do got to do what you can Owens and Dijak went out in the main event, which realistically Orton and Reed probably would have been the main event because they've been having, I think, bigger matches, better matches when it comes to the star ratings, but is what it is. Had to give Orton a rest this week, and uh, here's uh, the results for SmackDown and Monday Night, or not Monday Night Raw, NXT, but ECW, you know, still had a solid show, you know, I'm sure it wasn't December to dismember levels bad. Oh, look at Randy Orton sneak this and Brunson Reed in the, uh, in the tweeters, in the show notes, Hard, hardly a surprise that Reed lost to AJ Styles. Gain some fans, gain some money, but can we gain in the, uh, the fan base, in the ratings, I should say, probably not, we're probably still third after that week, we did get a health spa card which can come in handy for anybody who's too beat up we are still in third place at the current moment that's just not sitting right with me oh well we just got done a pay-per-view ple whatever which means it's time to offer some trades and i believe cpu could offer us some trades as well so let me read xavier woods down here welcome to trading after most ple shows each brain will have the opportunity to trade cash or superstars with other brands you may also you may only trade with one brand at a time but if more than two brands are available you can swap between them to select the one that you want to trade with all right uh you were given five trade attempts per ple so use them or lose them every trade proposal you make will use one of your trade attempts once they're all used you won't be able to make any additional proposals until after the next ple when trading <laughs> against a human player uh, we're not trading against any human players uh additionally when a superstar is added to the trade you'll find their trade value which can help determine a fair trade keep in mind this does not include personal values other brands take into account such as titles rivalries etc so if they're asking for more it'll be up to you to tip the scales in your favor once you feel that you have an enticing offer for an opposing brand, you can make it official by press proposing the trade here. Once the trade is proposed, the opposing brand will have the opportunity to decide if they want to accept the trade or not. That's how trades work. Uh, when trading against a CPU opponent, you'll have to make logical trades or risk increasing the GM's frustration. If the opposing GM gets too frustrated, they'll refu refuse excuse me, to trade with you until a later date. So you can't be just low-balling them all first. They might get pissed off at you. All right. All right, let's see who uh, let's see who William Regal's got to offer. Who is there? Anybody on their brand who is uh, really enticing us? See, the CPU kind of sucks. The CPU kind of sucks because uh, they they draft so weird. You know, you, you're all over the place. Local competitors, jobbers, all that kind of stuff. Let's see what SmackDown's got to offer. You know, I want to try out the trade thing. So we will try to make a trade here, but like nobody's really that enticing. And you see, we got trade unavailable. I'm not sure. Why did I get to put people on trade unavailable? I don't know. Um, we could try for like we, you know, in the live stream we did the night this came out, uh, that was originally going to be our basis for the ECW GM mode. We did draft Drew Gulak. You know, he's a, a guy who's wrestled in the ECW arena many a times throughout his career. So let us try to get Drew Gulak. He's a 66 popularity. So we will. Uh, how's Gulak's more popular than Dijak, who's a former ECW champion? So. You know, we might need to really <laughs> give somebody up. Here's everybody who is more popular than Drew Gulak. Oh, wait a minute. Dominic Mysterio is also unavailable. So maybe people who are on tempo will know because I don't know. I don't know how all the stuff works. We're figuring it out on the fly here. You know, AJ Styles technically less popular than uh, than Drew Gulak, but I don't know. A thousand bucks? Like, <laughs> let's just see. Let's just go Gulak for AJ and see what happens. I don't know. We just signed AJ. Probably not going to keep him around forever. 
let's just we're, I just want to try out a trade see if it works so let's just propose this trade AJ Styles for Drew Gulak and the trade is declined give me a break no same manager would go for that okay all right do they offer me any trades because that would be like more enticing you know I don't know what about Logan Paul from uh, NXT AJ Styles is more popular than Logan Paul. So is Cedric Alexander. We could send them Cedric. Um, Cedric costs less money. Cedric's currently in a feud with Santos. Logan is in a feud with Brutus Creed on their brand. I don't, you know, again, we're just trying things out. Uh, waiting trade proposal. Okay. Will it happen? Will it happen? I think that's a no. Trade decline. Do you take me for a joke? No way I'm going for a deal like that. All right, well, you request a trade then. Do they request trades if I end the trading? Does, I don't know. I'll, I'd ask if anybody know, but nobody can respond until a, a later time. So, I don't know. Considering there's nobody who I'm like, I gotta have them on these other brands, I guess we're not gonna make a trade? Unless we try for really something crazy here. I don't I don't know, man. Let's go back. Let's go back to SmackDown. We'll try one more trade. We'll try one more trade. We'll go for Drew Gulak. Let's go back to the Styles thing. We'll give them Styles, and we'll also give them... I don't know. You want 3000 bucks? Like, <laughs> trade value? I don't I don't know. I don't know. The, their money's different. Gulak, does he make more money? I guess. You want $6,000? I don't... Take $6,000. I don't know. We're, we're completely just winging this here. I think that's a no. Okay, I think that's the an, an animation for a no. All right, I'm done trying to uh, propose trades considering there's nobody I definitely want. Look, do they, again, I don't know. Sometimes a CPU brand may approach you with a difficult trade proposal. There's no haggling with these proposals. It's up to you. All right, so they are about to propose something to me. Nicholas Mann, a local competitor who was their North American champion for $17,000 cash. Get the fuck out of here William Regal that is a disrespect absolutely no way let's see what Smackdown got to offer Smackdown's offering me Humberto Carrillo and Cruz del Toro for AJ Styles I'm not feeling it I'm just not feeling it you know I don't feel like we're getting somebody who's a real difference maker there so you know what I'm gonna have to decline I want to make a trade just for the sake of using the tool but nobody's offering me anything good so you know what no trades no trades. Wesley, uh, my time with ECW is coming to an end. I'd be interested in staying another five weeks. The cost would be 50000 Let's talk figures. Okay, can I actually make a uh, offer? How about 35000 uh, 35000 I'd like to offer you 86000 to stay with ECW for another 10 weeks. Uh, extend your contract at the end of the season. 35000 cal can I talk? 35,000 is probably just going to be offended and not take it. Um, I can offer him 86, which is less than double and have him for 10 weeks. I like what, you know what? Screw it. Wesley. He had a morale increase. We got him for 10 weeks on technically less money. So Wesley staying with the ECW brand. Santos Escobar, same thing. Uh, Santos, we just signed you. I'm not going to renew your contract. Unless something comes up. Maybe maybe I will. I don't know. Theodore Long. See those ratings? That's how a pro puts on a show. Even GM like you can get lucky. Yeah, let's talk a little shit. Let's talk a little shit. Theodore Long, you're just mad you lost. <laughs> That's honestly pretty funny. It's honestly pretty funny. Who is this local competitor bugging me with their tape? Trying to, try to send me their tape for an ECW tryout. I, dude, I don't even know what you're saying. I ain't reading it. I ain't reading it. There's no room on my brand for amateurs. Get the hell out of here don't even care don't even care get out of here local competitors i don't use them baron corbin thanks for the rematch against dexter told you i'd get the win this time feel like i'm on a roll this season with ecw yes you are baron corbin yes you are all right what do we got now let's shake some things up after some premium live events you'll be asked to choose a shake up shake ups modify your season in new and exciting ways shake up effects can activate instantly or last for a set number of shows so we have champions resolve your male and female singles belt holders gain 15 popularity and are guaranteed to win all of their matches while this shakeup is active we also have david and goliath which says superstars who win against superstars at a or uh, i can't talk at or above 
there we go ring level 20 gain tab there, that's a lot of shit there i don't know i can't read all that uh specialist pr training you know what we're just gonna go 15 popularity champions resolve and uh you know do all my champions well all right we are four weeks away from SummerSlam, which for some reason is still the outdated SummerSlam. it looks like from 2022 not sure why that didn't get an update but is what it is season challenges we have two marked off for the season so that's uh good to know our commissioner goal this week is to rest our male tag team champions which would be corbin and breaker so uh take a look at our roster real quick santos escobar obviously could be on his way out so we will take a look at the uh talent scouts this week let's see who is going to be in free agency jd mcdonough tomaso champa we got ivar Always looking to bring in some new talent. Are we here at ECW? Drew McIntyre, main event Jay Uso, Sydney Sydney Fluff. You know, could be a game changer. Bray Wyatt, special guest referee, is his match specialty. Evidently, sixty-seven thousand. Sign Bray. Yeah. You know what? You know what? We need to. We need to. We need to get hungry in free agency. You need to. We need to get aggressive in free agency. Bray Wyatt. You know, he just, it's like Kevin Owens. There's just something gritty, something extreme. I feel like he fits on the ECW brand. Welcome to Extreme Championship Wrestling, Bray Wyatt. Just wasting all of our money out here. Santos is on his way out, so we won't have him next week. But we do still have him this week. Dominic, still busy for some reason. I'm not sure what, honestly. <laughs> the wrestling center has been unlocked, but same thing. You need more cash or assets to purchase this logistic. What I, What am I missing here? What am I missing here? Because we have technically, not saying we should spend it, but we technically do have the money to buy the wrestling center. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing here. You know what I mean? Same thing. Gorilla Crew. Like, I don't. What? Somebody let me know in the comments, and we'll try to figure that out for the next episode, I guess. All right, nonetheless, so Commissioner goals to rest our tag team champions this week. Randy Orton still has one week of rest, so Kevin Owens' stamina is also pretty high up there. I mean, most of our <laughs> most of our roster is after the pay per view, so this should be a uh, interesting week to say the least you know there's just constantly something going on this might just be a week where we're gonna have to uh say screw the commissioner goal honestly well, our reward is a special promotion ensures that you retain most of your fans this week honestly i can't just for that i know that's like sounds good but like i can't can't risk it so corbin and breaker will be in action this week and let's try to get some new opponents against them let's go uh who should we put against Corbin and Breaker? Who are heels? Cedric. I don't know. I mean, we just kind of ran Dexter and Dragon off already. So should we do it one more time? I feel like did it run its course? I don't know. All right, screw it. We're just gonna run Dexter and Dragon off. We'll put the belts on the line, and then I feel like we need to we need to start like a, a, a start a feud or something like that. Maybe this is how we get Kevin Owens on the show. Somebody's gonna call out the ECW champion. It is going to be. Can't be AJ Styles. Well, I mean, he could be. because he's a baby face. Um, it's gonna be big Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed calling out Kevin Owens. Or should Bronson Reed call out AJ Styles because they just had a match? You know, or just somebody else? Because Bronson Reed, we still gotta run him and Orton when he comes back. Uh, Bray Wyatt. They're both baby faces, though. Is that not gonna work? I'm not good at this game. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's just freaking wing it, dude. That's basically what we're doing, doing this entire time anyway. AJ Styles and Bronson Reed get to run it back from hell in the cell. We will have Wesley and Nathan Frazier once more. And we're gonna go a nice little triple threat between Santos, uh, Cedric, and Dijak just to fill up the show. And then Kevin Owens promo. Actually, we don't need a Kevin Owens promo. Get rid of this. Get get rid of this. Clear. Okay. All right. So that'll be our show. First week coming out of Hell in the Cell towards SummerSlam. So let's go ahead and simulate AJ Styles and Brunson Reed rematch. Reed gets the victory this time around. Two star mediocre. Man, I'm just not good at this game, dude. I'm just not. I'm just. I'm, I guess I'm just the universe mode guy. I don't know. <laughs> good thing we're just having fun here. Wesley and Nathan Frazier once again just absolutely shitting the bed. Like, evidently nobody wants to see. Those guys do high-flying maneuvers. 
Triple threat matchup up next. It is won by Cedric Alexander. Another disappointing matchup. What can you do? And then we got the Wolf Dogs versus Dexter and Dragonoff. This has got to be Dexter and Dragonoff's last attempt to win these tag team titles. And unfortunately, they did not take advantage of it. Corbin and Breaker retain in a three-star good matchup. However, it says new rivalry. We've upped the rivalry. So maybe we're going to keep it going. I don't know. We're just freaking winging it, dude. Oh, look at that. The guy NXT tried to offer me for $17,000 cash main eventing this week against Seth Rollins. They wanted, they wanted to try to stick it to me. They were like, look what you messed left on the table. I don't care. I don't care. We don't know. I ain't doing local competitors. Takes me out of the whole thing. I don't want these, these independent jobbers, these guys sending me their tapes to try to get booked for a tryout. Not happening. This is ECW. This is where the big dogs play. All right, another good booking this week. Uh, basically the same thing coming out of Hell in the Cell. Even opener with NXT. Uh, same thing in the first mid-card match. Bottom of the barrel in the second mid-card match. And a complete even main event across the board. So, I mean is what it is you know we're, we're doing what we can here uh we have a rivalry going there rivalry going there you know wesley and nathan frazier got a rivalry going but their matches are just we've evidently earned a power card congrats you earned a power card by completing the seasonal challenge inspiring loyalty to the moon only usable on superstars with less than 60 popularity plus 15 popularity to a superstar after their next match good to know Good to know. We will definitely utilize that on somebody uh, prevalent. Still at the bottom of the barrel in the ratings. Cedric Alexander. Hey, boss. I've been talking with Orton a lot lately, and he had this great idea that we should team up for a tag match. I think we'd actually make an awesome team. Can I convince you to take us, uh, take a chance on us and book us uh, a tag match in the next few weeks? Sure. Let's see how Cedric KO uh, works out. Bray Wyatt, I think you should put me in a match with Mysterio. Of course, that being Dirty Dom, trust me on this. Sounds like a great idea. We'll do we'll do Bray versus Dom. Maybe a Kevin Owens interference too. Get Bray and Kevin Owens, uh, you know, ruling here. And Dom, I think we'll be back this week from the freaking hiatus. So good to know. Oh, wait a minute here. We can finally make a purchase of an arena. Wait, okay. Can we purchase? Okay, we can finally make some purchases in here. I don't know what the holdup was. Okay, we can't. It looks like we can't get overzealous now. We got the wrestling center. Okay, well, I guess we used our logistics, whatever the hell this week is what it is. Oh, look at that. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, as well as Bruno San Martino, hanging out in free agency this week. Nobody we're going to pick up. Scarlett's always in here. Why is she in here every single week? It's usually a rotation. She's in here like every week. What's this freaking Deuce and Domino hanging out in the corner? Heath Manhattan exactly who i want on my ecw brand all right i want to go ahead and use this uh to the moon power card plus 15 popularity to a superstar after their next match let's go bray wyatt if we want to make him have a run for the world championship i feel like he should boost his popularity so 51 popularity make that a uh Oh, well, it's after their next match. I apologize. So, I'll we'll have to wait. There's a get the tables power card. One randomly booked tables match on your show will be rated higher than normal. You know what? I want to have that in my back pocket. Immediately gain two talent scouting points. We don't need that this week. Send the chosen superstar to a top spa. Won't be able to be booked. Is there anybody who... Uh, is there anybody that needs a uh, little bit of break this week? Nobody's stamina is in, uh, in the red here. I think I said something about that that yellow bar being stamina when we were booking the last week episode. That's not what that is. I don't know what the levels are there, but somebody can again let me know and teach me how to play this game in the comments. But nobody's stamina is in the red, so we're just going to hold on to that for now. Limited stock. Select an opposing brand. Double the price of their power cards in the shop next week. Yeah, let's stick it to, uh, let's stick it to, uh, you know, Theodore Long was the last guy who was talking smack in our email, so let's stick it to Theodore Long. Make him pay a little extra money next week. All right, let's go ahead and book our show. So we will kick things off with, uh, or not kick things off, you know what, yeah, you know what, kick things off with Dirty Dom and Bray Wyatt. Interference, Kevin Owens run in to target bray Wyatt. i feel like i need to turn one of these guys heel but for now uh you know it's fine so there we go we got that match on in the main event let's keep this thing going i think we unlocked the steel cage so we will keep the feud going 
Dexter and Dragon off. Oh wait a minute, didn't, don't, isn't uh didn't I use that power card that guaranteed champions win their matches for the next like five weeks? Maybe this isn't. Maybe that's not a good idea. But they do have a rivalry going on, so you know what? I want the ratings. So Wolf Dogs versus Dexter and Dragon off in the cage for the belts. We did promise or no, tables tag. Uh, we did promise Orton and Cedric would fight alongside each other. Die Jack and Brunson Reed. All right, this yeah, this is this is gonna be a good show this week. And we'll keep this uh, mediocre feud going between Wesley and Nathan Frazier. Wesley's stamina is a 29, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, we got to go balls to the walls, right? It's going to be a tables matchup, and AJ Styles will have himself a advertising promo. Yeah, give us a little advertising promo. Make us a little money, AJ Styles. All right, this may be one of our best ECW shows that we've booked yet. I think this is a loaded lineup. We finally got some feuds going. Orton's back. Bray and Owens kicking off. I I'm liking this show this week. So let's go ahead. Let's get into the simulation for, uh, what's this, the second week on the road to SummerSlam. Kevin Owens going to be making a run in here. Him and Bray Wyatt going to be our next big feud. I still think I have to turn one of them heel to really make it that much uh, better. But we have Dirty Dom returning to action against Bray Wyatt. Bray re requested this matchup. And thanks to the run in by Kevin Owens, Dom gets the victory. However, it is a one star dull matchup holy hell man it is hard to impress these folks aj styles uh getting us thirteen thousand dollars cash thank you very much wesley and nathan frazier they got a rivalry going on seems like nobody cares but maybe when the tables are involved somebody will care wesley with a victory in yet another two-star mediocre matchup all right cedric want to do team with the ecw television champion randy orton orton is back after a few weeks on the shelf so let's team him up against die jack and brunson reed a couple of intertwining stories going on here cedric and orton working out as a team maybe they make a run for the tag team titles eventually we will see but two-star mediocre matchup new rivalry created so we'll see what comes there and again i believe we have corbin and breaker guaranteed to get a victory here or not or not <laughs> never mind or not never mind rivalry complete four star amazing match uh dexter loomis and Ilya dragon off just won the tag team titles i don't how many times i gotta say to this video i'm just winging this thing i am really this is the third year my gm's been in the game i have no idea what i'm doing but it's a blast and it's a four star amazing matchup so uh this this turned out to be a half decent week for ecw all right poor opener which we can pretty much expect that it was a one star matchup but Best, uh, or not, not best main event. SmackDown also had a four-star main event. What the hell was their main event? Woman's tag title match. Normal? Man, it ain't on level, my steel cape. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. So even uh, with NXT in the mid card, SmackDown is pretty much uh, on top right now, it looks like. You know, a better week is what is is what it is. Uh, some rivalries getting heated up, some rivalries completed. I, I think we had a decent week from my perspective. All right, we gained the injury rehab uh, commissioner goal card, power card, uh, reduces injury time for one superstar by three weeks. Good to know. And also, you earned a power card by completing the seasonal challenge, Happy Campers. I know a guy, uh, immediately gained 10 talent scout points, so we'll have to use those in the near future. Still on the freaking bottom dude y'all listen we're gonna need to really heat some of these rivalries up next episode and just have a just a slamming summer slam dude like on fire biggest party of the summer all the fireworks you know it's gonna be the most extreme summer slam of all time that's what we need that is what is gonna bring us over the edge superior to smackdown and nxt aj styles is in our emails asking for some money let's talk figures would like to keep aj styles it is a lot it is a good chunk though it is a good chunk you know to keep him for 10 more weeks he's guaranteed a hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars which of course is less than two separate a hundred and four thousand dollar uh you know con five week contracts i feel like aj styles uh is doing us good i feel like he's doing us pretty solid i'll keep him i'll keep him for now i'll keep him for now cedric uh told you uh him and orton really worked out have to say, I'm loving my time on ECW. Yes, you are, Cedric. You're getting money. You're getting paid. You're, get, you, you're getting action. You know, team up with Orton. You're probably going to be going for the belt soon. Cedric Alexander has a home on ECW. Kevin Owens. The crowd has really been getting behind. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Two guys intertwining here. Haven't seen this before. The crowd has really been getting behind me. It's time we capitalize on that. You should give me 
top billing in the upcoming show. I want the main event. Then Randy Orton comes and says, um, excuse moi, it's pretty obvious that the crowd wants to see me in the biggest matches. It should be me who gets the main event. I assume you agree, Paul. Well, we could book a match with both of you. Why don't we make things interesting? I'm going to put both of you in the next main event. I'll figure it out. Randy Orton said, bring it on. Kevin Owens said, well, I suppose someone has to share the spotlight, even if it's the lesser superstar. See, we're making everybody happy here. We're making everybody happy here on ECW. We'll make it freaking work. All right, some big names in free agency this week. Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes again, Ronda Rousey, uh, Sangha. Fortunately, no Veer, but Sangha is here. Um, nobody who I think we really need to pick up. Santos Escobar, of course, has left the ECW brand. Can't afford anybody. We obviously are pretty low on cash at the moment, but uh, we will <laughs> we'll do what we got to do. And we might have lost Santos, but I mean, our roster is looking pretty freaking good. You know, we've signed some people recently in Bray and AJ, and uh, I'm liking our brand. We got Orton back, still the television champion. We have new tag team champions in Dexter and Dragunov. Kevin Owens, of course riding a high as the world champion who should we turn heel let me know down below in the comments and we will do it in the next episode should we turn kevin owens heel or should we turn bray wyatt heel i feel like one of them needs to be healed to really take their rivalry that i want to at least get going to the next level into SummerSlam. so let me know down below in the comments owens heel or bray wyatt heel and for those interested as we sip on the old coffee here universe mode you guys know big on universe mode here on the no nation gaming youtube channel it all kicks off i had to remind you guys this monday 3 p.m eastern time the first episode of wwe 2k24 universe mode is going up do not miss it and as you're heading down to the comments to let me know who we should turn heel be sure to drop a like and subscribe and if you want to support a little extra hit the join button become a channel member small monthly fee couple of exclusive perks goes a long way but i hope you guys enjoyed this video plenty of more my gm and universe mode to come here on the no nation gaming youtube channel go follow me across all social medias at no nation vlogs and i'll see you guys in the next video peace coming your way on saturday night april the 13th witness the aftermath of wrestlemania as the superstars of monday night raw and friday night smackdown head to san juan puerto rico for the 2024 backlash this international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m eastern time on saturday night april the 13th and as a new season approaches what will these superstars have in store you haven't seen anything yet and nothing can prepare you for the backlash